Morning, YouTubers. <laughs> it's your favorite mad scientist of sorts. So today I thought I would do a bonus episode where we look at the differences between AC and DC for running stick rods, the differences in penetration. I don't really recall, and I probably learned it back when I was in school years ago, but I'm thinking that DC polarity has more penetration than AC, but how do we really know that unless we actually test and look? So for today's video, I'm going to use 6013. I'm going to keep the amperage the same. So 120 amps on eighth inch rods. We're welding 3 8 plate. And I'm going to do two passes with uh, DC EP, two passes with DC EN because 6013 will run negative polarity. And then two passes on AC. I'm going to quench the plate between each pass. I'm going to cut it right down the middle and we'll look at the penetration with a cut and etch. Pretty simple, but I think we can learn something and who knows, maybe it'll all be the same, maybe it'll, maybe it'll be different. I have no idea what to expect here. So let's get into it. All right, before I go and cut this, I thought we should take a look at it, at least on face value. So you saw me ran, I ran DCEP for two passes, DCEN, the first one I ran out the first rod and then I switched to another rod, DCEN, and then the last two on AC. If we look at them, they look very similar. I would say, the AC rod actually is probably the smoothest. If you look at it, it's basically 100% equal in height and width. The other ones overall are as well, and who knows, maybe it's just operator. Maybe I was a little bit smoother. I got, you know, four beads of practice to get there. From my aspect, uh, from my view behind the welding helmet, I actually thought that it ran best on AC just because 
the alternating current seemed to keep that flux push back a little bit more. So this rod, um, honestly, and I don't run that much 6013, but I like the way it ran on AC. It, it ran closer to like a 7018. These kind of ran more like what I, I would expect 6013. So somewhat of a medium to fast freezing rod. But yeah, I mean, very, very similar. I mean, you can't really tell a huge difference. I do see more hard spatter running it on DCEN versus EP. The actual welding sounded maybe a little quieter, sounded a little different. Maybe you can hear it in the video. But realistically, face value, there's really not a whole lot of difference, nothing to write home about. So I guess I'll chop this in half and I'm looking forward to seeing what's in it with a cut and etch. So I'll go and do that. All right, here we go with a moment of truth. Just looking at these, I would say the AC is spread out a little bit wider and it definitely has shallower penetration than the other two which is sort of what I expected, but the difference between the EN and the EP, which by the way, we normally run rods on the EP side, isn't really that huge. I mean, looking at the overall bead appearance from the top of the plate, it almost looks to me like the EN somehow deposited more metal, like height-wise, but the penetration isn't really worse than the EP. I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? Here's another shot. It's not quite as good, but the EPEN are close. The EP's profile seems to be pretty consistent. The EN, at least the left part, so the first bead I ran, only penetrated in the middle of it. But again, this is the other side of the same plate, so how much of that is just inconsistency in, in me? It's hard to say. I mean, I'd really have to do a bunch more testing to really eliminate at least me being the problem. I stack these on top of one another. I would say without a doubt, the EN side has a taller bead profile. It doesn't, and it's weird because it's, it's almost like taller, but a little bit wider. It's hard to say really. I, I would say that at least with 6013, the difference isn't as much as I would have suspected. I preferred how it ran on, on the EP. It just seemed to run more like what I would expect. The EN side seemed to have a little bit more spatter maybe or something. The overall view here, they all look pretty much the same. I mean, the AC, which is the ones on the end, actually seem to be a little bit more equal in width but i mean that's kind of picking at straws i guess well i guess that was an interesting video um at least for me it might be a little hard to see that maybe this one's a little bit more visible not really the differences are very very subtle almost to the point to where the difference between ep and en I would almost have to say, I would have to do a bunch more testing just to get consistent results. See if I can't get that in focus for you guys. Yeah, not so much. I have a feeling on a fillet weld test where I'm actually welding like into a corner or something, the subtle differences would probably be more pronounced simply because the weld throat would be deeper and I have a feeling the AC would come up short and that's kind of what I expected that the AC would come up short but I don't know what are your thoughts on it I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think and maybe if you have experience welding on DCEN the only time I ever really have done it is on sheet metal with very small rods it does work or seem to limit penetration but in this test the penetration looked about the same. I mean, really hard. You're picking straws there, I guess. Not really what I expected, but that's the purpose of doing these experiments is to at least get an idea of what we're dealing with here. I also wanted to mention, so on TIG, as you know, we weld DCEN and most stick rods we run DCEP. There are some cases where people will run DCEN 
with certain rods for certain applications. But again, for most stick rods, we run DCEP. I definitely, with this rod, preferred the way it ran on DCEP. But I thought I would mention on EP, where the polarity is, the, the rod is on the positive, the workpiece is on the negative, the electrons actually flow from the metal to the tip. So on EP, you actually get a little bit, uh, or actually not a little bit, a fair amount of cleaning action because the arc, the electrons are moving from the piece to here and it actually, much like AC on TIG, will help uh, remove material on the surface of what you're welding. When you weld DCEN, where the tip is uh, negative and the work is positive, the electrons move from the tip to the plate and you don't get that cleaning action. So from what I was reading, I did a couple, uh, read a couple articles in a book I have, they're suggesting that the cleaning action is less. So that in the future, I think I'm gonna try and give this a shot where I weld over mill scale. And I bet that would be an interesting video as well. So maybe next week or something, I'll have to test that and see if there's a huge difference. Cause that would be a real good reason why you wouldn't wanna use DCEN uh, for stick welding is that if it has <laughs> poor penetration over any contaminants, that could be an issue. Anyways, like I said, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, I thought this was interesting. It was fun for me to make and a little bit easier of a video. So uh, I got to take it easy on myself tonight, which I, I appreciate. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. Catch you around.